In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a presenter-led talk show style scene and we're going to upload it onto YouTube or Facebook and I'll show you the whole setup for all of that as well. I'm also going to show you how to take a character like this one, uh, like a generic character, and turn it into your own custom character that you can use within the scene. I've built a kind of talk show set and what we'll be doing is breaking this down into layers putting the character in place and showing how we can do this to create the either a live or pre-recorded animation. So the first thing we need to do is take our character that we have here which is our template and we're going to open this up in Photoshop. So now what we want to do is make our own character. So the way we go about doing this I'm thinking I'm going to turn this into something completely different. So maybe an animal, so I might do a rabbit with floppy ears or something like that. First thing we need to do is find where our background head image is. So here we are in frontal, we have BG for background and we've got the head. So what I want to do is use that as a base to make a new back face for the character. With this um, when I do my designs, I much prefer to do my vector work in Illustrator, but have it all set up in Photoshop. So I'm going to be going back and forth through Illustrator and Photoshop to create this for you. So if we go to, we've got a new scene, open up a new uh, document. I'm going to select all and copy the head that's already there and paste this. Nice. So I'm going to use this as a kind of base for how I want the head to look. So I'm just going to kind of follow the shape of the head that we've already got. Might want to change it slightly. I'm not going to go into too much detail about the um, how I'm building all this. I'm going to uh, leave that to you guys to build it however you like, but uh, this is just a quick overview of what I would do. So, I'm going to bring that into place. I'm going to line that up and see how it looks. Let's put, we don't want the nose, so we're going to, no, actually I'm going to delete, delete, delete the nose there. We will delete the nose layer from there. We're not going to need these ears, so again, let's go ears, we'll keep the, we'll get rid of those ears, because we're not going to need them, we'll keep the eyebrows. So yeah, what, are we going to not need the hair also, so we've got to fold down here for hair, and we'll get rid of that. So yeah, quite like this for a background head image. So what I'm going to need now is a nose as well. I'm going to put a little mouth area in there as well. So if I put Now we're going to need a nose. So let's do it. 
So I'm doing this quite quickly just to show you know, how easy it can be done. Um, and the more time you put into it, the more you can get out of it really. So let's have a look. Um, let's change that. Change that. Color. That'll do. Okay, so we've got that and more we'll, again copy and we'll paste this one into the nose layer. Drag this in place. What I might do actually is back in and stroke that a little bit. And let's give it a Nose. I don't know if I might. Okay, you can have a play around. I think I'll probably bring that up in front of the eye. Well, like them in front of the eyes. Okay, one thing I want to check is the mouth. So if we go into the mouth layer and we select. Um, Put on like one of the, so happy is quite a big mouth shape. So we can move this now. We set the whole mouth layer and move that a bit more into position. Okay, a lot of that's looking. Let's turn. Okay. Now what we want to do is we can get rid of that with the background. We also let's see the. Next thing we want to do, let's add some ears to the character. So, we'll give it a fit. Uh, to Illustrator, we'll just make some simple ears. We'll just do these, um, some ears that we can use, do some nice dangle effects on, I think. So like I said, we can spend quite a lot of time affecting all this and getting it to look exactly how you want, but I'm, I'm going to be very quick just to get it going. So I don't think I want it to be that, that big, so we'll give some little ears on there. On there. And yeah, fine. Let's make them the same. Close the body. So let's D and paste. We want these on top of the head and everything else. So let's yeah. Okay, um, you might want to go in, I won't do it now, but like go in and change the colour of the eyebrows. Um, you can do that quite simply by. Let's, uh, let's that. You can even just select the layer and you know, we can select the colour. Fill them in. What should we go with this? We'll have to go through any animations because these have got some already built in. So,
There we go. So, straight away we have brand new head for the character. And then the process for the body is just the same. So we'll go to the the neck. Let's right there. Actually, this is a little tip. Because um, um, we work with a lot of smart layers uh, for some of the puppets. If you want to set all your smart layers, click that. Rasterize them all in one go. Um, I find if you have layers rasterized and you're not working with smart layers, it can. Um, if, you, if you rasterize them, it will speed up the uh, memory, uh, the speed of the uh, character in Character Animator. So, okay, next thing we need to do is the neck. So, let's copy the neck. Making neck to match. What I would suggest doing as well is keeping all the saving the uh, Illustrator file and keeping all the elements um, in case you want to update or change them at a later date. So I'll save this Illustrator file out so I can come back to it later on if I want to. So, so I'm not going to bother with any gradients, um, but you, you know you can add gradients in and shadows and things like that which always look really good but with this one for now I will just keep it pretty simple so again bring in these pixels Um, for this character, to keep things simple again, I'm going to keep his keep put keep a t-shirt on him. So we're going to keep this black t-shirt. Um, now we just need to go in and work on the arms. So again, it's just a simple case of I can either go in and say we put this kind of Recolor. Same for all the hands. Go and do it all the one color first. And there we go. Brand new character, all set up, ready to go. And if you wanted to put a logo on him somewhere, um, you could even do that. I mean, let's see, I've got the. Let's copy this. And we'll put that as a logo for now on his chest. So. Actually, before we go back into character, but there is one bit I have forgotten. We need to do the eyelids. So again, let's go to button lids. So this character has got quite a few lids. So I'm not going to go through all these now, but I will set up the blink. So with the blink, we've got the green set up that we want. And up top. So but again it's a quick process just to go through and 
to clear out our our feathers. I'll do all these now, and we can speed this up later on. So that now is all the eyelids done, and this character is ready to go. If we press save, everything's done correctly, it should update info uh, in character animator. So this was our original character. And there we go. Testing one, two, three. Lip sync's all working. Characters all there. Arms all working. And if we go to the triggers, go all our triggers working as well. Um, <clears throat> different hand shapes. All good. Brilliant. So this is the first part of our tutorial. Complete a Sephora Ashi. I'm just going to add in quickly um, on his ears. Make other independence. There we go. Um, so the next part of the tutorial, I am going to talk about how to set up the scenery. First of all, I'm going to set it up so that we can have this character within the scene in Character Animator, so you can do all your animations within the software and do a pre-recorded show. Then I'm also going to show you how to set it up so that we can layer it up in programs like I'm going to, I'm going to show you in VMix because that's the one that we use, but it can do, be done in Wirecast or OBS in the same fashion. But I'll show you how we layer it up in layers and it gives us the ability to bring in video overlays for the TV or create virtual um, sets so we can zoom in and all that type of thing as well. So yeah, I'll move on to part two.